Hi everybody. Welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. And today's segment we're going to be talking about significance as determined by scale. Now, if I stepped on those ants back there that you just watched for a moment, how would you feel? Would you give a shit? Or would you just be like, eh, it's only an ant, who cares? I step on ants all the time, hell. I used to burn ants with magnifying glasses when I was a kid. It was hilarious. A lot of people seem to have this idea in their mind that the significance of a life is determined by one's size. You know, the smaller you are, the less worthy and the less significant you are in life. And the bigger you are, you know, right is might, or might is right, the bigger you are, the, the more worthy you are. Never really understood this uh, way of looking at things, this perspective. And it always made me think, all right then, well, if scale determines significance and worthiness of life, if a g big giant came along, massive fuck off giant came along and then like stepped on your girlfriend or your boyfriend or someone beloved and close to you, you know, if you started crying and being traumatized and acting, you know, sad about it, I would just pat you on the back and be like, ha ha ha, don't worry about it, they're hell tiny compared to that giant. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to be sad about or upset about because you're just an ant compared to that giant. Who gives a shit? You know, your life isn't worth that much. And that's my point exactly, that it's all scale. I mean, it, just because something bigger comes along that can step on us like nothing, would that instantly mean that we are pushed down the ladder of worth, ladder of significance, and that it's fine, that it's even laughable? I mean, you get guys that laugh when they hurt animals, you know, or creatures, insects, whether it be picking the legs off a spider or a grasshopper or burning ants with magnifying glasses or kicking little defenseless dogs or choking kittens or whatever the fuck, you know, jumping on chickens and slaughterhouses. So many, it's such a huge range, so many different ways that people are cruel to animals and abuse them, take advantage of them just because they're small, you know, smaller than they are, just because they can. And even, even to the slaughter industry and how we justify eating meats and all of this because we think, oh, well, they're just animals, you know, they can't talk English, we can't communicate or understand what they're saying or what, how their life is, how they feel. So it doesn't matter how they feel, it doesn't matter what their life means. This simply isn't true. You know, just because you meet somebody else from a different country, speaks a different language that you don't understand, doesn't mean that you shouldn't honor their feelings and respect their way of life. Same applies across the board with all different species. Just because they live in a completely different way, speak a totally different tongue, don't even have a tongue, doesn't mean just because it's different to you that it has a totally different set of rules and protocol of what is right for it, what it deserves. Everything has rights. Everything that is alive has some very basic tenets and sacred values that should be respected. One of them namely being, if you're alive, you should be respected at freedom of movement and not be stepped on or have your legs torn off or be burnt under an aerosol can just for somebody else's entertainment, just to give them a kick because they're bored. It's annoying, there's a lot of people that are not only are careless about hurting things smaller than them, people that actually get a kick from it. And it's disturbing to me, just as disturbing as if somebody gets a kick from hurting humans. We put ourselves and pay such a high premium on the fact that humans are so much more evolved. Really, when you start looking at it, and you start looking at how other animals can interact with each other in harmony and seem to understand this basic respect for life that humans simply do not, you start to question just how evolved are we? Maybe we do need a giant Godzilla or giant to come along, start stepping on people, huge bellows of laughter rumbling the ground, just for us to get some perspective.